Hi! Nasaktan ka na ba? Or may story ka ba ng betraya? Or sabihin na natin, broken promises. Hmm. Or sabihin na natin, ang status ba ng buhay mo ngayon ay living under the consequences of difficult and broken relationship? Mahirap yan. Then join me as I study this book of Dr. Erwin W. Lutcher, When You've Been Wrong, that urges us to make Christianity believable by pursuing reconciliation and moving from bitterness to blessing. Siyempre, yung mga insights ko na ito and highlights ko sa book, ang hirap naman if basahin ko lahat ang nasa libro, di ba? O, oh, hindi na kayo babalababe. Baba, <laughs> hindi na kayo bibili. Or worse, makukulong pa ako. <laughs> so, credits to Dr. Erwin W. Lutzer. Maraming mga tao sa atin ngayon na mapakristyan man or hindi, ang hirap-hirap makapag-move on sa hurt na na-experience from someone. Yung tipong naghihintay na lang sila sa elusive day when wrongs will be made right or ma-vindicate sila na hindi ako yung may mali. Yung tao na yun talaga. Sana makita nila na yung tao na yun talaga ang may mali. Well, hanggang sa sobrang tagal na naghihintay na mag-sorry yung person or sobrang tagal na paghihintay na ma-vindicate ka. Nga nga. <laughs> At di na interested sa reconciliation. And corny na ang word na forgiveness. Ang iba, kahit nasa damakmak na ebidensya na ang nasa harapan nila, refuse and expect agad ang rule of thumb nila. Refuse to admit na mali sila expect the other person to admit the things of which the other person is innocent. Well, grab your pen and take note of this. Then sinabi ni Dr. Erwin W. Lutzer sa book, it says here, This is a war against the devil. Tama ba? Of course. And sadly, many have taken themselves out of their ways of life. Reconciliation sa mga nakapanakit sa atin at nasaktan natin, ay minsan nagiging impossible na. Point number two here is surrender it all to Christ. Totoo yan. Mga beshi ko, bakit malungkot ang beshi ko? Let me quote what Dr. Erwin Lutcher said in this book. Jesus knew that we as humans would hurt each other either intentionally or unintentionally. Matthew 18 verse 7 says, Woe to world because of the things that cause people to sin. Such offenses must come, but woe to the man whom they come, through whom they come. Sino yung man through whom they come? It's the devil. See? Mas all-knowing si Christ at mas may authority siya against the traps of the devil. Tapos, you trust yourself in handling these things? Surrender mo na yan kay Christ. I am not saying this as if na never been offended ako. Ako? Nako, girl. Ay, nako. Kung alam nyo lang, mag-break down di ay. <laughs> Beshi ko, if you have unforgiving heart and bitterness, para mo na rin ininom ang lason sa sarili mo. When I let the offense of others linger in my heart, it injured me emotionally and hindered me sa spiritual walk with Christ. Kasi pag nakikinig ako, alam niyo, pag nakikinig na ako sa sermon, ang maalala ko or nasa isip ko, bitaw, unta may go siya. <laughs> Familiar? O ba? Diba, blinded ako to my own faults and mas na-highlight or na magmagnify ko ang kasalanan nung naka-hurt sa akin. And this now, when I listen to the Word of God, it should bring me to humility and remind me na I am just saved by grace alone and in Christ alone. Nako, distracted si Manang. <laughs> Dahil sa anger and bitterness sa heart ko. I became ineffective and ang growth ko spiritually ay nahihinder. So, I'm ineffective and it created walls between me and God. Gusto nyo yon? Huwag ganun. Ako na magsasabi sa inyo, delikado yan at maniwala ka man o sa hindi. Sa akin, 
nakakapagod yan. Let me quote again from this book. Unless we see our own failures, we will never be able to deal fairly and biblically with the failures of others. Own failures muna natin. Unless we are willing to be honest about our own sin, we will always distort and overreact to the sins of others. Thankfully, the Holy Spirit is with us to reveal to our own needy hearts. Only through the grace and forgiveness of Christ can anyone find lasting deliverance and healing from the binding power of an offense. Susunod na mga araw, pag-usapan naman natin ang Abag Fulpik. Buy this book on Amazon or you can also check it out sa bookstores in the Philippines such as BCBS or Roman Math Literature. You can also try to find this a Christian or religious section ng National Bookstore. Diba, Tita? <laughs> sala ko sa vlog. <laughs> Ay, Tita, Tita. Hello, sala ko sa vlog. I'm gonna go to work. Hello, bye po. God Thank bless. you. Thank you po. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> so we can notify a bag full of pain a video. Okay, God bless and bye bye.